So, Bobby, I was going to ask this question, like, why do some white people treat black people in a different way that we shouldn't be treated? Well, that's a good question, uh, J2. Um, you know, a lie is something that is not true. And, and anything that disagrees with God is a lie. A lot of white people were taught a lie. And that lie was that black people are inferior, are less than white people. They were lied to, many, by their mothers and fathers who taught them, and that's because their mothers and fathers taught them. They were lied to by the government that said black people are inferior. And unfortunately, J2, many of them were lied to by the church because the church even misused the Bible to tell the lie that black people were inferior. So this lie has been passed on from generation to generation and generation. And when you believe a lie, then you act on that lie. So many whites would treat black people bad because they were believing and acting on a lie. That's why God tells us we need to know the truth, because when people know the truth, then they get free from the lie. If they want to be free, they can be free from the lie which then changes the way that they treat you because they have the right information. So that's why it's important that we give uh, whites the right information so that they are believing and acting like God wants them to believe and act and not like the wrong information they're getting from everybody else. Poppy, so... Me and my friends at school have heard the phrase systemic racism. So how would you explain systemic racism to people my age? Well, systemic racism refers to something that's organized. It's, uh, so a person can be a racist less just as an individual. But when it's systemic, it's structured, it's organized in a way that it's built in to how something operates. So it becomes a natural way of, for example, slavery. Slavery was an organized way to keep people oppressed and to keep people down and to not give them their freedom that they should have as human beings and as American citizens. It was an organized way of doing it. Sometimes people have organized way to keep organized ways to keep them out of school or to keep them uh, out of uh, certain uh, activities or to keep them out of uh, even certain churches. So they write it in laws to make it organized or sometimes they don't want to write it because they get them in trouble. So they just act it out because that's how they operate. So systemic racism is where you organize the evil of discriminating against people based on their ethnicity or their skin color. You just, you're just not doing it as an individual. You're doing it as a organized way to let them know they are not welcome. Poppy, I have a question. Uh, how can God change people's perspectives? Well, the main way, Joel, that God seeks to change our perspectives is based on his word. His word, the Bible, is the way God wants us to look at life. He wants us to live life and look at life from the way God sees life. See, because many of our perspectives are wrong because we are hearing from the wrong people or looking at the wrong things or listening to the wrong things or thinking the wrong things. And so we act in wrong ways. So you always start with what does God say about this? 
What does God think about this? How does God feel about this? And when we answer that question and begin to act it out and live it out, then we're doing two things. Like when you watch TV, you don't just want the sound, you want to be able to see the picture. You don't just want to see the picture, you want the sound. So it's sight and sound. Well, when people can hear what God says and then see you living it out by how you act, your respect, your honor, your dignity, your integrity, your character, your hard work. And when you, you, you show them a picture of Jesus based on his word, you're giving people sight and sound. And when you give them sight and sound, it helps them to see things differently. And when they give you sight and sound, it helps you to look at them differently. And both that sight and sound needs to come from God.